Hi friends, I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season. It's the last tutorial of my holiday series and today we're gonna be making a nice and large shaker card. And by large I mean it's going to be 6 by 8 inches. So I have created the card base of this size out of white cardstock. I'm also gonna need a piece of black mirror cardstock that is the same size. Mine is a little bit smaller, but that's okay since it's going to be covered up anyway. I'm placing a black panel into the new embossing folder by Paper Discovery. This one is called Magical Forest and it's just the right size for my card. Here I have sent it through the die cutting machine and this is the result that we get. Now to make uh, the embossed pattern stand out even more, I'm placing uh, the uh, embossed panel back into the folder and then I'm going to use the sanding block to kind of uh, take off uh, the top coating out of the raised areas. I'm simply going all over the pattern, not applying too much pressure, and here you see how the core of the cardstock starts to show through. By the way, I'm happy to announce that the Nutcracker collection that I'm using today, as well as all Paper Discovery Christmas collections, are now discounted, so I will put the link down below in the description for you to check out. And by the way, I always design my holiday products so that they can be used all year round, not only for Christmas. So if you wanted to fulfill your paper discovery stash, the great time is now. When I'm finished with the sanding, I'm going to apply some adhesive and stick down the panel right onto the card front. And then I'm going to add more detail to my card. This die set here is called an Enchanted Forest and here I have die cut all the elements out of white cardstock. The forest itself plus some additional trees and snow hills. You might notice that the tree frame has uh, the small tabs at the sides and these are for creating dioramas. This time I'm creating a simple card so I'm going to trim them off. Then I'm going to attach uh, this large tree onto one of the hills and here again I'm using the liquid glue and then I'm going to attach it onto the card front as well. And this is going to be the backdrop of the theater stage. This is what I'm making. Since it's going to be a shaker card, now I'm going to apply some double-sided tape all around the perimeter of my card and I'm going to add uh, two layers of tape. Now when the tape is applied, I'm going to add uh, quite a lot of sequins inside. I'm going to use the sequins from uh, the few mixes by Cat Scrappiness. You will find all the names uh, down below in the description in the supply list. It really is a large card, so don't be afraid to add more sequins than, than you usually do. So when I have added all the sequins, I'm peeling off the liner and I'm attaching a 6x8 piece of acetate on top of the frame. Next, I'm going to stick down the rest of the details right on top of the acetate and the first one is going to be that tree frame. I'm simply applying uh, the liquid adhesive as I normally do. This one is Ranger Multimedia Matte, by the way, and I'm uh, placing it onto the card front. The next die set I'm going to use is setting the stage and this one contains a theater curtain as well as the stage light and I'm going to use them all. Here I have the curtain die cut out of silk uh, metallic cardstock and uh, the stage lights are die cut from silver mirror cardstock. And now I'm going to trim off uh, the tabs that are meant to create dioramas. And now I'm going to stick down the stage light bars at the top as well as at the bottom of the card. And those are going to hide the tape completely. The shell lights are going to the bottom of the card. 
This die set is again meant for 6x8 cars, uh, the one that I'm doing now, but if you are making a smaller size card, you can simply trim them down and still use them. The next elements I'm going to attach are the curtains. So now I'm trimming off uh, the bar that is connecting the two curtains since I'm not going to use it for this project. And then I'm going to trim off the tabs as well. And then I'm going to adhere the curtains right into the corner of uh, the card and uh, those are going to hide the remaining foam tape. Now my stage is entirely set up and I can add a focal image, which is going to be a ballerina. The ballerina is from Bring On The Dancers die set, also from a Nutcracker collection. I've die cut her out of white cardstock as well as out of uh, silver mirror cardstock. And now I'm trimming down the silver die cut. Basically, I'm following the embossed lines and this way I can create a silver dress for her. And then I'm uh, sticking down the dress onto the white die cut. I'm using the liquid glue again. You can totally use the tape adhesive. I simply ran out of it. And then I'm adhering the ballerina right onto the acetate and I'm kind of tucking her behind uh, the shell lights. As the last finishing touch, I'm going to add a few pearls of different sizes onto her dress. As always, I'm using the glue in a precision applicator bottle, as well as the pickup wax pencil. And this is what my Nutcracker themed uh, shaker card looks like. Of course, it can be used all year round, not just for holiday season. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to wish you once again a Merry Christmas and a happy and wonderful New Year. Thanks everyone for supporting me and I hope to see you all next year. Bye-bye!